Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Pastor Brett here. I thought I'd come down to Dunkirk, New York, and brought that guy with me. The Jesus Freak. Oh, look at this. So, yeah, we just come looking for Bibles again. You've seen this place before, and, and uh, I mean, for me, not much changes except that um, it's the privilege of being able to do this, right? Yeah. The privilege and pleasure. Hang out with my boy, and uh, we get to come and look at Bibles, and these Bibles haven't changed. He hasn't been here in a while, so what'd you find? I found one? What'd you find? Just another journal of the Word. Okay. Wish it were the reference one, but hey. Oh, that's the one with the comfort font, though. Is that the one you grabbed? Um, no, this is the older one. No, there's one here with the comfort font. Right there. That's the comfort font. Ah, yeah. It doesn't have the references, but it's the comfort font. And it's a fancier cover. Yeah, it's nice. See? Good. 2K. I knew that was I, I knew that was why I, I didn't touch it. <laughs> there was a reason why I didn't touch it. Now I know. <laughs> then you got uh, NIVs and NKJVs and CSBs and no ESV Bibles here. You notice that? I never see an ESV Bible here. That's they oh wait, seem they, to do. Skip from they do. They do. Nope. From nope. They do. I got them. This is the only ESP Bible that they have here. Mm. That's the English Standard Version in large print. Ten bucks. It's not a good bad deal, but the problem with that Bible is the uh, the text is really big, really bold, but um, the opacity is horrible. You can see right through the paper. Other than that, um, yeah, is that what you're going to get? Might still look. Look, I got to look for a phone case. These are nice. People at church love these. They love the NKJV at my church, so I get these for them. But uh, don't forget back here, Steve. They got these ones in the back. Here's an NKJV comfort print. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, well, what if it's got references? They'll usually say reference Bible instead of Bible. Yeah. If I know anything about these. Uh huh. And have a dad's devotional Bible. La Biblia su. La Biblia du Semer. Holy Bible. Oh, it's a French one. Yep. I think. Mm hmm. It's not a translation I'm familiar with, though. No. I, I speak a little bit of French. Yeah, I can read French somewhat. Well, it's my, my native tongue my, on my father's side, so my dad's French-Canadian. Well, French-Canadian and Irish. My father's half French-Canadian, half Irish. My mother's um, French and uh, Cherokee Indian. So I got a little mix there. I'm a milkshake. Um, then they got this one here I like. It's a pew Bible, but it's a really nice translation. Not that one. Deluxe readers. So it sounds like you got a phone ringing. NKJV there it is. Yeah, it's a Pew Bible too. Giant reference. Pew Bible, black hard cover. Then they got this gigantic um, the study Bible hardbound up top here. 
the giant print. This is a great Bible, but they want 30 bucks for it. I'm not paying 30 bucks for a Bible, for a hardbound. So, well, we've been uh, chatting about translations and dealing with a um, King James only guy on the way down. Steve was uh, um, typing for me while I was dictating. And uh, yeah, we're talking to a, a KJV old fellow that uh, claims he's not a Ruckmanite, but he's a rookie. <laughs> he's a rookie. He just, you know, he's uh, ad hominem and, you know, just loves, you know, slaying and slandering people, you know, that uh, read different versions. So, um, can't do it. Referring to the legacy standard, the satanic. Yeah. Uh, how do you call a Bible translation period satanic unless it's uh, a New World Translation or uh, um, um, the uh, Clearwater version? Joseph Smith version. Those are obviously the Passion Translation. Those are obviously translations that are not trustworthy, and so you want to be aware of them. But um, if you're talking about an NIV or you're talking about uh, a CSB or a New King James Version, you're talking about a translation that is the Word of God. It's the Word of God. It has the Word of God. And if you say it doesn't have the all the words of God, then you're making the King James Version the basis on which you make this such kind of statement. I can't support that. You know, I don't support that. And uh, um, I thank the Lord for um, the KJV. I thank the Lord for the Geneva Bible before the KJV. Oh, yeah. I thank the Lord for um, uh, John Wycliffe. I thank the Lord for um, um, William Tyndale and for all the people that did what they did to bring the Word of God to us. If it wasn't for William Tyndale, you wouldn't see any of these. None of this would even be here if it wasn't for William Tyndale going to the stake and getting burned at the stake, giving his life so that he could translate the Word of God and get it into the hands of the simple plowboy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for William Tyndale. Hallelujah. I think I'm going to buy a Bible just in honor of William Tyndale today. What do you think? <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody at my church could use a little New King James Version. Or maybe somebody online could use one of these. Uh, I have one of these at home. Um, I just uh, I, I stopped giving out the, uh, the hardbound Bibles and the other Bibles because people don't come when I have those Bible giveaways. They only come when I have a goatskin Bible yeah. giveaway. So, shows what they're really after. Yeah, I kind of, uh, but the last experience kind of, Put a stopper on that, you know. Mm. So, soured you? Yeah, I'm just gonna slow down for a while. That's all. Hey, listen, everybody. Jesus loves you, and we love you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. In Jesus' name.